Let's talk about every configuration offered on the 2024 Acura MDX. Plus, while I was researching this video, I found out there's a refresh coming for the 2025 model year. So we'll get into details of that so you can decide if it's worth waiting for the 2025 model year. As usual, there will be a ton of information covered in this video, but our goal is to make it comprehensive but concise, and most of all, help you decide which MDX might be right for you. Let's do it. Initially introduced in the year 2000, the Acura MDX will forever hold the distinction of being the first luxury crossover SUV with third row seating. Needless to say, we've come a long way since then. Now in its fourth generation, the MDX rocks handsome styling and sporty driving dynamics for those who long for a windy mountain road, but still need room for the whole family. The MDX is a top seller in its class, second only the wildly successful Lexus RX. For those that may think of Acuras as just a more expensive rebadged Honda, the newest crop of Acura models would like a word. While the Honda DNA is undoubtedly strong, it's strong in the right places, meaning it's well-built, well-engineered, and should provide many worry-free miles in an attractive and dynamic package. Let's get into it. Starting with the non-Type S models, don't worry, we'll get there. The MDX Tech A-Spec in advance will get a 3.5 liter V6 engine, making 290 horsepower. Front wheel drive will be standard on both the base MDX model and the MDX with the technology package, or you can choose to upgrade to Acura Super Handling All-Wheel Drive, which is standard on all the other trims. If you're wondering what makes an all-wheel drive system super handling, there's a lot that goes into it. A very basic explanation is that it's a full-time torque vectoring all-wheel drive system that manipulates where power is sent between the front and rear axles, and also between the left and right rear wheel. Plus, it actually overdrives the rear wheels a bit, reducing understeer. Is it something every driver will notice every day? Probably not. But is it more than just marketing? Absolutely. Premium 91 octane fuel is recommended. Most MDX buyers will be looking at about 21 miles per gallon combined. Front wheel drive doesn't appear to save you that much according to the EPA estimates with 22 miles per gallon combined. Every MDX engine will come paired with a 10 speed automatic utilizing an electronic gear selector. Plus all MDX models will come standard with sequential paddle shifters. Max towing capacity is rated at 3,500 pounds for front wheel drive models and 5,000 pounds for all wheel drive models, although it does require you to equip some additional equipment in order to do so. If you're looking at an MDX, you might be more interested in an engaging drive than the average shopper for three row crossovers. Here's some highlights of the design and features that help it deliver just that. You'll have proper double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension, setting a strong foundation for an engaging and composed ride. You'll have Agile Handling Assist, which can apply individual braking to each front wheel as needed to improve stability and dynamics when cornering. You'll have Bosch's iBooster Brake System, which is an electro-mechanical brake booster, and without getting too deep into the engineering behind it, it can provide better brake feel and more efficient use of the brakes, helping driving feel, performance, and safety. You'll have belt-driven variable ratio electric power steering, which will change the feel depending on the drive mode. Speaking of drive modes, all MDX models will come equipped with Acura's Integrated Dynamics System, or IDS. The IDS dial in the center console lets you switch through different driving modes. You'll have a Snow Mode, Comfort, Normal, Sport, and Individual, which allows you to choose the settings for throttle response, steering, shifting, and engine sound. You can create up to five pre-programmed settings for a customized driving experience. For a little more adrenaline, you can move up the lineup to a Type S, where the most exciting upgrade will be the engine. You'll upgrade to a 3-liter dual overhead cam V6 with a twin scroll turbocharger, making 355 horsepower. Just like the base engine, the Type S still recommends premium 91 octane fuel. Although the 19 miles per gallon combined actually seems relatively efficient, considering the power figures and the fact that this is still a 3-row SUV fit for family duties. More than just a badge and an engine though, you'll also get some notable performance upgrades. Standard equipment on all Type S models will include adaptive air suspension with auto leveling, a solid front stabilizer bar, an electro servo brake system, or in other words, brake by wire, Brembo front four piston brakes with larger front rotors at 14.3 inches in diameter versus 13.8 on the standard MDX models. You'll also get the Type S exterior and interior sport appearance packages, self-sealing tires, and you'll get two additional drive modes on the integrated dynamic system. So you get a Sport Plus mode. You'll also get a Lift mode. Utilizing the adaptive air suspension, you can raise the MDX Type S up to two inches for increased ground clearance. All right, let's talk standard features included on every MDX, and this is a pretty long list. 
For tech, you'll have a 12.3 inch infotainment screen and a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. It's worth noting that that center infotainment screen is actually not a touch screen and can only be controlled through Acura's True Touchpad interface. You also get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Amazon Alexa capability, Sirius XM satellite radio, HD radio, Bluetooth streaming audio and phone interface, a USB audio interface with a charging port in the center console, a total of four USB-A ports with two for the first row and two in the second row. You also get a USB-C port up front and four total 12 volt accessory sockets, two in the front row, one in the second row and one in the cargo area. You also get a wireless charging pad as standard equipment on every MDX, which I think is awesome. You'll get AcuraLink connected services as well. Plus you'll get cabin control, Wi-Fi hotspot capability, and home link. Some other interior amenities will include heated front seats, three position driver seat memory, a panoramic moonroof, a rear view camera washer, acoustic laminate windshield and front side glass, Tri-Zone automatic climate control with humidity control and air filtration, ambient LED cabin lighting, an auto dimming frameless rear view mirror, a leather wrapped steering wheel with a power tilt and telescoping steering column, a power lift gate, keyless access, push button start, power windows with auto up down, auto reverse and soft close. You'll get retained accessory power for the windows and the moonroof. You'll get remote operated windows and a moonroof open function. All MDX models will have a max seating capacity of seven and feature a removable center seat in the second row between the two captain's chairs that are manually adjustable four ways and feature one touch smart slide walk-in third row access. All super handling all wheel drive models will include a spare tire while front wheel drive models will have a tire repair kit. And you'll get hidden cargo storage with a reversible smart lid. Rounding off standard features, you'll also get Acura's signature Jewel Eye LED headlights and Chicane LED daytime running lights that feature automatic high beams, auto on off headlight operation with wiper integration. You'll also get Chicane LED taillights. You'll get heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals and feature a reverse gear tilt down feature. You'll get capless fuel fill. And last, all MDX models will come with the Acura maintenance program which actually includes all scheduled maintenance for the first two years or 24,000 miles. Starting off standard safety features with the Acura Watch suite of safety tech, which is gonna include collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist, pedestrian detection, traffic sign recognition, and traffic jam assist. You also get a blind spot information system, a rear cross traffic monitor, a multi-view backup camera with dynamic guidelines, Vehicle stability assist with traction control and motion adaptive steering, four wheel analog brakes, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, tire pressure monitoring system, hill start assist, advanced front airbags, a next generation passenger front airbag, as well as side, side curtain, and front knee airbags, lower anchors and tethers for child seats, and a theft deterrent system with an electronic immobilizer. All right, now let's talk trims. We'll start off with the base MDX, starting at $52,350 when equipped with super handling all-wheel drive. In addition to all the standard features, this trim will feature 19-inch wheels, leather at sport seats, front 12-way power seats with power lumbar support, ambient LED cabin lighting on the door handle and first row footwell, brushed aluminum trim, an interior color matched headliner, and an Acura premium audio system with nine speakers. Available exterior colors will include Lunar Silver or Liquid Carbon, only available with the Ebony Leatherette interior. Performance Red or Fathom Blue, only available with a Parchment Leatherette interior. Or Majestic Black or Platinum White, available with either interior color. Next, we have the MDX with the Technology Package at $57,050 when equipped with the Super Handling All-Wheel Drive. That's going to be about a $5,000 jump above the base model. Features added here will include power folding side mirrors, low speed braking control, front and rear parking sensors, rain sensing wipers, three position front passenger seat memory, GPS linked climate control, second row side sunshades, Acura's iconic drive ambient LED cabin lighting. This is gonna offer you 27 color themes uh, with a door accent for upper door handle and the first row footwell. 
You'll get the ELS Studio Premium Audio System with 12 speakers, an Acura Navigation System with a 3D view, and a compass. You'll also get perforated Milano Premium Leather Sport Seats with contrast stitching, and 20 inch shark gray machine finished wheels. Color options will be Fathom Blue, which is only available with the Greystone leather interior. You'll get Performance Red, which is only available with a parchment leather interior. Phantom Violet, which is only available with an ebony leather interior. Lunar Silver, which is going to be available with either ebony or Greystone. Liquid Carbon, available with ebony or this gorgeous espresso leather. Or Majestic Black or Platinum White, which are going to be available with ebony, parchment, or espresso interior. Next, we've got the MDX with the A-Spec package starting at $60,550, which is about a $3,500 increase over the technology package. Specific to this trim, we're going to have 20-inch shark gray split five-spoke wheels, a leather-wrapped flat-bottom sport steering wheel, Sport A-Spec seats with perforated Milano premium leather and an ultra suede trimmed interior. You'll get the A-Spec exterior sport appearance package, the A-Spec interior sport appearance package, an ebony headliner, geometric pattern brushed aluminum trim, stainless steel footrest and pedals, and we'll also add LED fog lights, heated and ventilated front seats, and the Acura ELS Studio 3D premium audio system, Plus, you'll also get cabin talk. Color options will be Lunar Silver or Performance Red, which are only available with the ebony interior. Or you can choose between Majestic Black, Liquid Carbon, Platinum White, or Acura's gift to the automotive industry, Apex Blue Pearl. And you can choose that with either ebony or this perfect red interior. So technically, the next model in the lineup after the A-Spec is the Advanced Trim, but since the standard Type S model has a lot more in common feature-wise with the A-Spec, we'll cover the Type S, then we'll cover the Advance, then we'll cover the Type S with Advance. The MDX Type S will start at $68,450. That's about $8,000 more than the A-Spec trim. You'll upgrade to 21-inch shark gray wheels. We'll maintain the same sport A-Spec seats with perforated Milano premium leather and ultra suede trim. And from this trim forward, we'll include LED outer door handle lights, key fob activated remote engine start with vehicle feedback. You'll add one AC outlet in the second row and you'll add two USB-A 2.5 amp outlets in the third row. Color options on the Type S are gonna be Lunar Silver, Performance Red, or the Type S exclusive Tiger Eye Pearl, which are available with an ebony interior. You can also choose Majestic Black, Liquid Carbon, or Platinum White that are going to be available with either Ebony or Red. Or you can choose the Apex Blue Pearl, which is going to be available with Ebony or an Orchid interior. Taking a step back from performance, let's talk MDX with the Advanced Package, starting at $64,100. Now, that's only about $3,500 more than the A-Spec, and actually over $4,000 less than the Type S, but it adds a ton of features which are going to include 20-inch wheels, sport seats with perforated Milano premium leather, front 16-way power seats with power lumbar support, thigh extension, and side bolsters, heated outboard second row seats, a heated steering wheel, authentic open pour wood trim, back to an interior color matched headliner, power lift tailgate with hands-free access and walkway close, roof rails, a 10.5-inch head-up display, a surround view camera system, and a head-up warning. Color options here will be Fathom Blue, which is only available with a graystone leather interior. Performance Red, only available with a parchment leather interior. Phantom Violet, which is only available with the ebony leather interior. Lunar Silver, which will be available with either ebony or graystone. Liquid Carbon, which is available with either ebony or espresso leather or Majestic Black or Platinum White, which will be available with Ebony, Parchment, or Espresso. All right, let's talk top trim. We've got the Type S with Advance starting at $73,800. That's nearly $10,000 more than the Advance with the standard engine and over $5,000 more than a Type S. You'll get 21 inch wheels, front 16-way power seats with power lumbar, thigh extension, side bolsters, 
and a nine-way massage function. You'll get ELS Studio 3D Signature Edition Premium Audio System with 25 speakers. Your color options here will be Performance Red, which is only available with the Ebony interior, Majestic Black or Liquid Carbon, which are available with either the Ebony or the Red interior, Lunar Silver, which is available with either Ebony or Azurite Blue interior. I try to keep it uniform usually and only include photos from the online configurator, but this Azurite Blue needs an actual photo to do it justice. Take a look at this. The Type S with Advance also includes this uh, pattern stitching on the seats that we don't see on the standard Type S. You can also choose that beautiful Apex Blue Pearl, which is going to be available with either Ebony or Orchid. Tiger Eye Pearl, which is available with either Orchid or the Azurite Blue interior. Or Platinum White, which is available with either Ebony, Orchid, or a red interior. All right, looking at inventory numbers, we see an abundance of the MDX with the technology package, both front wheel drive and the super handling all wheel drive models, as this is clearly the volume model. If you want a Type S, it looks like you'll be required to spring for the highest end Type S with Advance. So which MDX is the one to pick? If you're here for the Type S, nothing else will measure up in terms of performance, and you've already got your answer. Even at the base level, the MDX comes with tons of tech and nice features for not much more than a high-end Honda Pilot trim. The next step up is the technology package, which adds a huge chunk of the features most buyers will probably be interested in, like a better stereo, second row sunshades, and leather seats, among many other things. As you saw from the inventory numbers, this is the most abundant model on dealer lots right now, which means better deals could be had in theory. It's one step above the technology with the A-Spec where we find our top pick for today. From a subjective standpoint, the appearance package and color options best showcase the personality of the MDX and take it from a nice family hauler to something, dare I say, cool. Plus standard super handling all-wheel drive, ventilated seats, and the ELS 3D audio with a relatively small increase in price over the MDX with tech. Now, if you gotta have all the amenities and technology the MDX possibly has to offer, no questions asked, you'll be looking at the advanced trim. But what if you want all the features and the tech, but the more aggressive styling of the A-Spec without springing for the $70,000 plus Type S Advance? This is where things get interesting. This is a perfect segue into covering the updates coming for the 2025 model year. Now, this is just a refresh, not a complete redesign. So under the skin, there's no real notable changes. Now, this isn't meant to be a detailed list, just a quick overview. If anyone wants it and this video ends up doing well, I might make a more comprehensive video, but here's the basics. Haters of the Acura touchpad interface can rejoice, as there will now be a center touchscreen. There will also be some tweaks to the exterior styling, such as darker headlight surrounds, new paint colors, and wheel designs. You'll have improved noise isolation, and Acura will also be getting rid of that ELS audio in favor of Bang & Olufsen for the high-end systems. But the biggest news coming is the fact that the 2025 model will offer the option of the A-Spec with Advance. In summary, the tech package is going to be the sweet spot for most buyers, and that's why we see it being the volume seller for the MDX. But the A-Spec is the one that's a little more special, and that's why we chose it as today's top pick. Now, if you're still trying to decide between waiting for the 2025 or going with a 2024, there are two main things to consider. The first, if you can't stand Acura's true touchpad interface and you'd much rather have a touchscreen, or if you want all the features of the Advance but like the look of the A-Spec, then you might want to wait. There is one big reason you might still consider a 2024 model, outside of it still being a fantastic vehicle, and that's that you might start seeing some dealer discounts, especially as the 2025 models start to hit dealer lots, which they're expected to very soon. All that said, make sure you let us know in the comments down below which MDX would be your top pick, or if you think you're going to wait for the 2025 model. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.